looking out of the window. I wonder why. <laughs> Once in every lifetime comes a love like this. Uh, yeah, the classic 1980s, early 1980s sitcom, The Young Ones, got a release a week ago, just under a week ago, and I'm here to talk about it. Let's find out whether this is worth picking up. Hello. I come from God and he said... <laughs> I mean, I expect if we'd wanted you to come in, we might have said something like, Oh, hi, Christian. Why don't you come in? OK, yeah, so welcome back to the channel, everyone. So, yes, yeah, so the young ones. I was intrigued by the fact this was getting a Blu-ray release. Um, as soon as I saw it announced, I pre-ordered it. Um, and last night, um, I couldn't sleep at all. I, um, I don't know why. I'm, I've been having a couple of bad days, to be honest. Um, I wasn't meant to be doing some live a live show today. I, I couldn't do it. I, I just, uh, just not been feeling great. But anyway, that'll come back. It's funny, but being ill makes me lose my usual tolerant and easygoing approach to communal living. <laughs> yeah. So the young one. So why was I intrigued by this? basically because of its content and I was intrigued as to whether this will get a release unedited or whether it has been edited for some of the more racial jokes within. Um, some of the content that is now unacceptable in today's society. You see this stuff going on on TV, older shows being edited. Um, because it comes from a time when, um, well, we were sort of a bit less um, uh, intelligent than what we are now towards things. But there we go. So, the young ones. Is this worth picking up? Let's take a look first. So, all I've done is I've watched the episodes. I've watched the episodes. I haven't watched the special features. There's a wealth of special features, including 10 new commentaries, never before deleted scenes, all this sort of stuff. So there is a wealth of extras on there, and I'm pretty sure that that is all fantastic, will be fantastic. Um, being looked at as a retrospective um, through the eyes of today, you know, that stuff is always good. But the biggest question is, is this worth picking up? Is this edited? Um, there's good news and there's bad news in regards to this release. So first of all, editing. I'm happy to say that there is no edits made to this release and on the one hand I am shocked I am rather shocked one very offensive episode that would be deemed offensive by today's standards very offensive and would never make it on TV is the episode boring which is the third episode of season one the guys are kicking around their house they're not doing nothing um, and and Loads of stuff's going on behind their backs. There's like a, a sort of SAS enter into their house behind their backs. And there's a news report. And um, there's a derogatory word used at the end of that news report. Um, racist word. And then probably one of the single most racist scenes in this entire show is when uh, the guys have won a, a, a new car by entering this Kellogg's Cornflake contest that morning. Um, and geezer is ringing their doorbell wearing a black glove and a policeman steps up to him wearing sunglasses and starts accusing him of um, burning white man's electricity shall we say with a rather uh, a, a abundance of racial slurs being thrown into the mix as well this scene is there in the episode it's there it's full-on it hasn't been edited whatsoever and the same goes for all the other episodes so you know it, does it feel awkward to watch nowadays it's still very funny it's still very funny but there is a sort of in the back of your mind you know that this is wrong you know this isn't right this comes from an era when when uh, things were drastically different being that this show is now 40 years old Wow, um, it, it, it's very, 
it, it's a great insight into how things were back then. Um, but very, very good. Um, you know, the picture quality itself, um, it's the best it's ever looked. That being said, and here comes a sort of but. I was watching this on a 75 inch TV. Um, and it, all I can say is it would look better on a smaller TV. Um, maybe if you're watching it on uh, 50 inch or smaller, maybe even smaller than the 50 inch, um, and you're the right distance away from it, you'll get better. Um, it, it will look far better than being up in your face. Um, but it is very clean image. It has been cleaned up. You can tell that um, it, it just doesn't work on a large screen. That's the only gripe I have with it. Um, obviously, it's a digipack that opens up. Um, three discs inside. So is it worth the, the, the purchase? Well, this was only like 20 quid. This was 1999, um, which considering the work that's been put into it, um, the wealth of extras that are on there, the fact that it is um, unedited and does, um, it, 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 it sort of preserves a part of history in physical media because I can't see these being aired on TV in the way that they are. Um, so for that purpose, for that reason, this is very much worth picking up it's it's a wonderful release it's a wonderful series it's very funny um it, you know the characters all, all just spark um and it's always worth keeping an eye out for the fifth housemate yeah the fifth housemate there is an individual that that sits around um long haired a bit like neil but he isn't neil um in background scenes that's just sat there um like they've had a party and this person's never gone home or something um keep an eye out for that it's, it's worth it but yeah so do young ones yes it's worth picking up it's not been edited which is fantastic and yeah i look forward to watching the special features um so that's it aj i said i'd do this i thought it'd come a couple of days later but i didn't expect to be up all last night unable to sleep and then watching the young ones um but yeah thoroughly enjoyable um blast from the past Anyway, this is AJ. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Come and join the channel. And I shall see you all on the next one. Take care all and goodbye. <laughs>